What's going on? 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 It's your boy Zakelezi, the one and only the Forex Trader. You know the vibe. So, like, uh, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And uh, before getting into the video, before doing it, anything, like, uh, don't forget to like, uh, subscribe, um, and don't forget to share. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you know or you get notified next time when I top a new video. So, like today, we are going to look at our uh, US 30. So, uh, yes, yeah, so, so yeah, let's get into the video. So, like, yeah, so now we are going to analyze US 30. So for me, on this pay basically, like I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use uh, a higher time frame, like uh, two hours. Like I don't have to go deeper to daily or whatsoever. Cause like on this pay, like I don't need more like to go on bigger time frame to see what's going to happen next. So like whatever that I'm gonna do here, like I'm just going to. Uh, uh, I'm just going to um, to identify some key levels. So yeah, this is uh first the first key level. Uh, so like this is going to be the second key level. So obviously this is going to be the third key level. But for now, let me just remove this so that like I make my analysis very clear. So let's see what do we find here on US 30. So on US 30, remember when you draw your trend line, when you draw your trend line, you don't have to let the, you don't have to force anything. You just have to go with the flow of the margin. So let's see what do we find here. So on US 30, we have something like this. We have uh something like this so like we had a first touch second touch so we didn't get it uh, yeah we didn't get a third touch here but the market decided to go up so like remember the market it's not perfect the market it's imperfect sometimes you might not get three touches sometimes you may not get three touches so so as you can see the market was going down like this so now the pattern we are having now like this pattern currently like uh, is a type of a, a bullish type of structure pattern it's a bullish type of structure so now the thing is like um the market has to go up and touch where and touch the 90 percent rule of the bigger structure the market has to go up and touch the 90 percent rule of the bigger structure so let me just remove this so now what's going to happen is like uh let's see what we find inside so like remember when you have a bigger structure when you go to lower time frames or even on this time frame you can identify other patterns let's see what do we find here like oh uh, so yeah so like here we had um uh, we had our structure like it's pattern inside patterns so we had same thing again a similar thing we had first touch, second touch here. So like the market, they didn't give us what it did touch to the upside. So now it went up in 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 impulsively. So now remember the market showed up impulsively. So like uh, so now you know like. It, 
you know like every after every impulse there's a what there is a correction then impulse that like those are the basics so ever since the market showed up impulsively so like we have to wait for the market to create what we have to wait for the market to create a correction so that we and, and, until we reach this until we, we reach this part of the trend line so we, we are going to look for continuation patterns when we are trading our us 30 because it's going up and again this might be our target or our target might be the 90 percent rule of this structure meaning the market may pass might break this trend line and hit the 90 percent rule obviously we know after hitting the 90 percent rule it might come down impulsively uh correctively and create a pattern and shoot up and go hit the 90 percent rule of the bigger structure so let me just remove this line uh, so that like make everything clear so like So like this is what i'm talking about remember when you are drawing your patterns you don't have to force anything like your trend lines so you don't have to force anything you may you have to make your analysis look more clear and simple so that like you are not confused so like you know that like you are going to make money you know like the more you make the market look simple the more you make money so for real estate we are going to look for some things like this so like you don't have to force anything so like you just have to be patient and let the market do what and the, let the market do the patterns like correction patterns so that you know like after each and after each and every impulse is it after every each and every impulse there's a correction then there's impulsive so like uh here's our us data setup for now so like this of was like let's see the one and only the forex trader you know the vibes like don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you know next time when i drop a video you know the vibes so yes sir yes sir